excited to uh, introduce to you our new product, which is called Seismic Desktop. And um, it's, uh, I hope we manage your expectations well, because I'm, uh, I'm really, really so happy you all made it uh, today. And also 400 people here, and, uh, and, um, and that, that's very encouraging for us, but that's also a lot of pressure. So don't expect too much. Let me like, decrease the level of uh, expectation a little bit. It's not going to uh, revolutionize the world. Not yet, but uh, we are very excited about it. And it's also, Seismic Desktop is a, it's a preview. So we, ship it, we decided to ship it today uh, so that Team Seismic and you uh, give us feedback and we keep building it. So we don't see this as a public launch at all, even though it's going to be available during the presentation to anyone who uh, signs up uh, to desktop.seismic.com. And uh, we, we really, that's how we build the products. And just a little uh, word about that. We uh, have this uh, uh, initiative which we call Team Seismic, where the idea is uh, very simple. We, f we thought like gathering the uh, members and users who are uh, willing to help us. And uh, in return uh, for their help, we really commit to give them uh, first attention. So I've been answering myself individually hundreds of emails, any email coming from, through, through our uh, Team Seismic, uh, I answer myself and, um, and uh, get so much feedback out of it. And also we, uh, we of course, commit to uh, sending the uh, preview releases as soon as they are available. Sometimes it's like daily, so just be prepared if you're on that, that you, you could get a lot of uh, emails. You can unsubscribe anytime, we don't sell, we don't sell emails, we don't do anything uh, with that. Um, so that's Team Seismic, and maybe Thomas, you want to just say a word about what you, you plan to... So this is Thomas Snow, and uh, he's our uh, beloved community <laughs> manager. Uh, and Thomas, you, you, you have some ideas about Team Seismic as well, right? Yeah, well, just in case uh, you haven't read Louis' blog, uh, <laughs> just to let that's you know everybody. that, <laughs> that he's, uh, he's a, a big fan of Seth Godin and his recent book, Tribes. Um, I, as community advocate, I'm a big fan of of community. And one of the things that we've began to observe about the way people are using twirls, it's not completely a personal thing, and it's not just connecting with individuals, but people are really connecting with their communities and being able to stay in touch with them. And we're pulling together this site. You'll see that it says uh, teamseismic.com is coming soon. Um, as a place for people who are interested in communities and have uh, uh, started off with being a part of this Team Seismic to begin to explore what it is to engage in your community and to have the best tools and the uh, best way to engage with them. And so that's a real exciting part for, for me to see where this is starting to go. And Loic has a lot to show on, on the tool that well, makes if, that easier. Well, if you read Seth Godin's book, Tribes, uh, I think like everybody has, like if you try to find a job, having a community helps. If you uh, want to do anything, having a community helps them up to a brand like Dell, who has a community around as well. So anyway, so we're going to uh, do a lot around that. So here is Seismic Desktop. If you have not done it yet, you will get the email in the next uh, minutes. So we, uh, this site uh, has been live for, uh, for like uh, just a little bit. And uh, as you can see, we, we, we call it Build Your Community. Um, so this is uh, uh, just before going to Seismic Desktop, um, a little bit of history with uh, Twill, which uh, got downloaded by 1.2, not by 1.2 million people, but downloaded 1.2 million times, which uh, I don't know how it positions us because we're the only ones uh, transparent about the number of downloads, but uh, it's, it's probably one of the most downloaded uh, Twitter clients. And it's one of the very, very early Twitter clients uh, created by Marco Kaiser, who uh, joined Seismic about a year ago. Um, he's in Germany, would love to be here. He's probably watching there, Marco. And, uh, and um, he's uh, one of the uh, key, of course, team member now of, of Seismic. I tried really hard to uh, have uh, Marco move to San Francisco, but I failed so far. I'm working really hard on it. Um, it has, since almost the beginning, it has um, multiple Twitter support. Uh, Twitter account support, that's what people like with it. Uh, it has support for several social software sites, um, and, uh, and it was the first which we were really happy to say that, you know this very popular TweetPeak uh, picture posting service? Uh, actually, the way it worked is the founder of uh, TweetPeak and Marco uh, talked, and Marco said, you need an API so that I can put you on the client, and TweetPeak built the API. And that's what made, uh, not Twill made 
treat pig popular, but it really helped, right? And uh, uh, that was one of the first things we, we did. We did also the rollover buttons on the avatars with the four buttons. That was the first on Twill, I think, as well. Um, many innovations in this uh, space. And so 1.2 million downloads is a lot of downloads. Uh, the last, latest version was downloaded by about 300,000 uh, people. And uh, that tells us like our active user base of tools is probably like 200,000 and growing. And, uh, and of course, uh, gets a lot of our attention. So we worked uh, really hard, as you can see. So that's tweet, uh, tool today. Uh, the services it supports are uh, Twitter, you see several Twitter accounts, video comments with, uh, with Sysmic. You can record and post videos. Uh, friend feed, which I've put here, it also supports Identica. Uh, and so uh, some communities uh, really like using Twill with Identica because, uh, like, so for example, Leo Laporte uh, as the uh, tweet army, and uh, the tweet army uses Identica and Twill to follow the private updates uh, of uh, the community. And so we support that too. And we, uh, we listen a lot to, of course, the feedback from our users. And uh, uh, one of the feedback we had before I move to that is that, uh, of course, we all want everything into one window, like, like put these all together. And that's uh, easier to say than, uh, than done. Um, so we started working uh, a while ago to, to, towards that. And so what I can announce is that Sysmic Desktop is an entire code rewrite. Uh, it, has not, it doesn't have the same code base as a Twill. And uh, it's really designed to do exactly that, which is support multiple services, put them all into one, and grow and be very flexible. Uh, because Twill started as a Twitter-only client. Um, the, uh, uh, we also launched recently, and then I'm going to move to the product itself, uh, Sysmic for Facebook a few weeks ago at South by Southwest. And uh, uh, this is like a Twill limited uh, to what we have in the uh, Facebook API which is uh, right now, which is the uh, uh, update, and uh, you can share uh, for, uh, to your friends. That's pretty much it. It's very, very simple. Same, like the request of the, the demand of our the users is to put everything together. So we worked on uh, doing that. So all in one, here is the, uh, what we heard on uh, hundreds of votes and product suggestions on feedback.twill.org and hundreds by email. So thank you very much for all your feedback. Most requested. All services in uh, one application, um, all accounts in, uh, in one column. So, uh, so have them all showing at once. Uh, multiple column support. So not only in one column, but several columns. And group my friends. So I want to be able to make lists of my friends. And we did. We did all that. So we are uh, uh, very proud to introduce the new Sysmic Desktop preview. Right now, so I'm going to do step by step and then uh, going to show the product and uh, Thomas get ready to send it by email, if you will. So here is the one column uh, with the home timeline. And as you can see, there is an innovation here which, which we, we, we are really proud of is you have a, now it tells you as what you have received the tweet. So this is received as Twill and Loic. This is received as Seismic and this is received as Twill and so on. So if you have, you can put like 10 Twitter accounts, it will tell you from which account it was received, all into one. Um, and, um, and, and so, and we show it. This, this tweet, for example, was, was received as Twill and as Loic. And it shows only once, no duplicates. So we, uh, we uh, manage that into the, uh, the UI itself. We have a new left navigation bar, um, which uh, we think very, is very useful. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we have uh, your home with all the different uh, uh, accounts in there. So C, received as Sysmic, received as Loic, received as Sysmic, and so on. Uh, the replies, replies aggregated from all your accounts as well. Only one column for all your replies for like six Twitter accounts if you want. Uh, same with private messages, same with your sent messages. It knows from which account and it knows from which account I'm going to show you in a second when you reply as well. The accounts are right there. Uh, you can add as many as you like. I don't, we've QA'd it, but again, it's a, Q, it's a preview. So uh, we, like if you try to put 20 or 30 accounts, I don't know if we tested that, but I'm sure you will, uh, you will try it. I'm going to come back to user list and searches soon. I tried it with five, it works very nicely. 
um, and it can be like pushing it uh, a lot uh, with us. No duplicates, as I was saying, if you have a few uh, tweets which arrive uh, uh, in and replies, they won't show twice. You can post from uh, different accounts, as you can see here, it goes fast, but there is a uh, select bar here where you can say which account you're posting from. So very useful. Uh, I, uh, I heard from uh, Richard at Dell recently at South by, I met many brands and uh, Richard explained me that at Dell they use Twill and they pretty much, they like it very much. And uh, here um, uh, it's very useful if you're, uh, for example, if you're Dell, you have a Dell corporate account, you may have a Dell customer service account, you may have your personal account. Now you can have them all into one and choose to whom you're, ch you're sharing. Now, uh, if, I, if I show you this again, you will see that the, uh, Actually, it goes, in a, it goes in a loop, I think. Um, if, see, this one is received as seismic. This one is received as loic. If I do an at on there, if I click here, it will shift to the right account. You like that? <laughs> so, uh, so that I'm not confused, right? So if I do an at here, it will reply as seismic. I can always change it. Be careful because you may end up posting with, you know, so you have to be a little bit careful at the beginning, but we really help you on that. And uh, when, when you get used to it, it's, uh, it's actually very, uh, very cool, I think. So it changes automatically. Um, I'm going to show you all that, uh, of course, live. Multiple columns, so now you want to detach your replies. You click on this button and hop, you have two columns now. Um, and uh, you can add as many as you want. Uh, I've uh, tested that on two 30-inch screens. I call this the Bloomberg of social software because <laughs> you can have it like, like this. And, um, and uh, it runs uh, very, uh, very uh, nicely. Also, uh, we've been extremely cautious about stability. So we, uh, it doesn't crash um, much, let's say, because it will crash, I'm sure you will tell me. But uh, it's, it's running very stable on our tests uh, because, again, it's been designed for this since day one. So I shouldn't, I, I, I'm sure Marco is watching me saying, you shouldn't say it doesn't crash. I'm sure it will <laughs> crash. It's a preview, so help us fix it if it does. But it, it, let's say it doesn't crash a lot. Um, so multiple columns and uh, uh, you can have as many as you want. You can detach anything on the left bar, absolutely anything as a column. Um, and you choose uh, how, it, how it works. I'm going to show you the real product, actually, and then go back to my uh, PowerPoint. Um, here we go. Oh, it's right there. Sorry about that. Here you go. So that's, um, that's a seismic preview. I hope on the new stream they can see, uh, they can see OK. But, um, here, um, I'm going to add another account. So as you can see, as I have my Loic account set up now. Uh, and we're going to go through the, the control panel, if you like. But we're going to add Seismic to that. Now, uh, on Seismic, I should probably put the password. As you can see, we have, uh, like, uh, advanced, classic, this was in Twill. It's, it's feature complete compared to Twill. Uh, uh, and uh, now I have my Seismic account, which is right there. And I'm going to start detaching. So replies, detach, detach, detach this one. Then I'm going to detach my, uh, uh, oh, okay, let's do, what should I do? My scent, here you go. Now I detach, detach this. And I take it bigger. As you can see, you can always navigate with those two. You can put 10 of them here and you will always navigate. You can also put it back into one, it works nicely. Uh, as I'm showing it here, I want to show you that we, we know that we, we had, uh, it was a bit difficult for us because we know that the many tool users actually like just one column, like a Skype or like an IM. And so we wanted to work very well in this uh, uh, way of uh, having only one column as well. So look at what I do now. I go and click on the accounts themselves. So I want to manage only my Loic account here. I'm going to see, see here the buttons at the bottom. They are the same as Twill right now. So you can just use these and you don't use multi-column. So here we have all the replies, all the uh, private, uh, and you can search 
and, uh, and uh, of course, search a user. So you can still like, manage only that account if you are interested to, uh, to manage that account. Uh, now, back here to multi-column mode. Um, yeah, there is, there is no right button on this Mac. <laughs> it's crazy how I'm used to it. It's, it's, oh. to. What? Here we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm already used too much to a new one. So um, here, now, we're going to swap the columns. So if I want my sent column to be on the right, I can swap them. Very, uh, very easy, actually, it didn't. Oh, it's again the same issue. <laughs> Here we go. So um, uh, you can swap the columns very easily and as many as you want as well. Now, uh, let's, uh, let's move on to, so very flexible UI. And uh, of course, again, it's a preview, so we'll improve it. Now a search. Uh, so if you add search to it, we can, uh, we can type, um, what should we type, San Francisco? Uh, and actually, I, I put, well, okay, let's do seismic because <laughs> I did a typo. So here, now you have seismic added right there. I'm going to remove this one. And I can move, obviously, the seismic column if I want to. And now this is the search, the live search, obviously, of all the seismic search. You can add as many as you want. So let's see Paris. That's easier. Now I have Paris as well as a column, which is here. It's saved on the left, so same. If you, go, if you go like in a small column mode here, like let's say two columns, and you have your replies, you want to access the Paris one, very easy with the left bar, you can see uh, Paris immediately, and it comes back here. So very simple uh, navigation. Uh, so that's search, pretty straightforward. Um, and now uh, we have, uh, before I move to a user list, we have also worked on uh, URL shorteners and, uh, and image. Um, so if you, as you can see, I can uh, have my profile here. Here I can change to dig, for example, or I can change to is. This is not a uh, preset, by the way, the order here. Uh, and uh, and uh, you can change. We'll support many of them. So there are like three or four right now, and we will support uh, much more. It's still work in progress. Share an image. We have uh, also worked on that uh, quite a bit. We. Uh, so you can do two things, which I think are very cool. One is you can drag and drop an image, uh, which you could not do before. So let's see. The pleasure of not being of, on your Mac. So, yeah, no, I didn't want that. So if I save this, And we're almost done. OK, so now I'm going to put the uh, Google logo on the desktop and uh, grab it. Sorry? Where is it? Here we go. So here we go. Share an image. Now I grab the logo. I drop it here. I can uh, straight send it. So we support TweetPeak, and uh, we will support more services. You can uh, directly here upload it, and now it's already on TweetPeak. So this is drag and drop. So if you go back now to, uh, I just show you the result. If you go back here, you can see we uploaded the Google logo uh, on TweetPeak. Another uh, interesting thing, detail, is you can also use your webcam. So now I'm going to use the webcam right there. Of course, there is not much light here. so. You can't see very well, but I can capture the image right now. Actually, it's okay here. It's a projector. And uh, now I select it, and I can upload it right now to TweetPeak. And again, other services uh, will be uh, supported soon. And uh, here we go. I'm just showing you this one too. That's, uh, that's it. Okay, so last but not least, we have a... Uh, Actually, the number one request on, on Twill right now, if you go, is uh, to have groups. So we don't call them groups. We call them user lists because we think a definition of a group is different than uh, 
uh, than lists. So a list is a, a collection of your friends uh, and for us. And a group is a place where you have to opt in. Like if I invite Howard Rangel with a great seismic shirt tonight, uh, thank you, Howard, to, uh, to my group, he should opt in and say yes. So we call them user list and you know, we think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's probably the right term, at least for us. So let's create a list now. Uh, so I click here and uh, I'm, going, I'm going to do a very uh, controversial list which will be friends. <laughs> and another one which will be entrepreneurs. Okay, now on every single column, every single person, I can click on this button here, add to your list, right there, and then choose which list, entrepreneurs, or is one entrepreneur. And it's added, I'll add another one. So this person in entrepreneurs too. And this one um, in entrepreneurs as well. Yes, yes, and we'd love your feedback on that. So I've done entrepreneurs, you, you, you see the point. Now I want to manage those lists. So if I click on entrepreneurs, I can, so what we have here is um, the column will populate when it, people update. Otherwise it would be a lot resource intensive, we could do it, but it would be very resource intensive to go and search for all the tweets. So it will, pre -pop, it will populate when you have new updates. So you can detach it, obviously. But now what I, what I want to show you is how you can manage the, the members of that list. You have a users button right there. And here we have uh, two uh, people I have uh, added. So I can, uh, uh, I can uh, uh, remove them from the list and manage them. Um, and we, we want to improve that, of course, um, as we listen to your feedback. But it's uh, already a, a pretty good uh, basis. Um, yeah, and I think, huh, I think that's it. So. Uh, do I, did I miss anything? So you can obviously detach the columns for, uh, for user list. You can flip them, you can move them. Um, you can delete them. Um, that's it. Do you, have any, uh, do you have any questions? I think you should, uh, you should send it probably. <laughs> so if you are not in the list, um, add yourself to it. If you are, you will get the message in a few minutes as we take a few questions. I hope I was not too long. Do you have any questions? Oh, uh, so uh, I didn't catch there. Can you still have like uh, a separate column for each account if you want? Um, Repeat the question. Uh, can you have a separate account for each? Separate column yes. for each account. Yes, you can, I can do that right now. Can you repeat the question? For yes, the one? question for the, how many do we have here? Uh, 575. All right, nearly 600. <laughs> Interesting. Um, so here, if I go on Loic and I want to detach that, that's your question. I double click on it, um, sorry, I don't double click, I just click on it, and then I move to detach, you see here? And now I have a new column which is just for my uh, Loika Twitter account. I'm going to remove this one. And if I want to detach my, uh, my Seismic account, I can do exactly the same. I detach it here and I have it as a separate column. You can also have actually a column with a single user. Let's say you, you want to read Sto. You can also uh, do here, if you click on one user, you will get all the tweets from this user and uh, uh, you can leave it on this way right now and we're going to also save it because like one user is a user list of one so you can also do that this way. Are these my private messages? <laughs> Any other question? Um, good question. Uh, we worked, uh, I, I can open the activity monitor right there. We, uh, we, we've been working really hard on this. Yes, sorry, the question, thank you, Wit. The question is, uh, how is it um, system resource wise? Um, it's, it's, it's not light if you start to add 10 Twitter accounts and five searches. Are you, did you send the client? So we're sending the client right now uh, to all of us in uh, Team Seismic. So if you are not in Team Seismic, um, Add yourself and you'll get it instantly uh, as the welcome email will be the client. Um, so yeah, so we have, um, we have uh, worked really hard on it and uh, our tests are pretty good. 
And now, of course, if you push it, it's going to, uh, it's going to it doesn't break for me at least, but uh, it, uh, it, it can be, it's like a browser, right? Can you imagine all the, f the information coming in, uh, this thing? So, uh, and we're also working with Adobe. I don't know if they are here. Uh, they, should, they should come and visit us at a pizza too. With Adobe Air uh, to uh, uh, optimize the memory. But we're pretty happy about the way. Tool has always had a uh, history of uh, managing memory and system resources quite well. Now, of course, there, is, there are a few challenges, but uh, as you can see, it's very stable. Yes, so. What about all the styling? I mean, this column's gray, that one's blue. I mean, is that under control? How, how do you yes. How do you drop out avatars if you're screen constrained? So this, this is, again, it's a preview. And we're looking at, uh, for your feedback to how to uh, improve it. And uh, we've color coded the tweets, as you can see. A reply shows is one color. A, a direct message shows in another color, and a uh, just a tweet shows differently. So it's all color coded to help you, um, and um, it, uh, it 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 uh, works pretty well, I think. But we're happy to get your uh, your feedback. You you had another comment? Well, like I, you know, people typically I, I have a problem where sometimes I have a thirty inch monitor, and sometimes I'm just on my thirty. Yes. And I, I really want to be able to say, go to 13-inch mode. Yep. And have the avatars go away in smaller fonts. Here is the first uh, suggestion. So we'll do a button, which we'll call the story button, <laughs> where uh, you will move to one column uh, or extend to 13-inch. I have it on 13-inch. Uh, on it's really nice. Uh, because here we're in, in 1,000 or something. The definition is pretty low. So a button to go back into one column, sure. Well, it wasn't just one column. It's you know, minimizing space in general. I yep. want multiple columns, but I don't want avatars. Yes, absolutely. Text mode. Yeah, okay. or you some, get, some you can get four columns instead of three if you get rid of the avatars. Exactly. Example, right? yeah. Or, you know, uh, icons instead of words in the navigator bar. It's a very good point. Um, it's a very good one. Themes? Right now, there is only one theme because, again, it's a preview. But uh, we, I know at least 10 people in each category who like dark, others who like uh, clear, light. And so we opted for this one, but uh, we will have a few themes available. And uh, actually, uh, even a community created themes for Twills. So we're looking at feedback and possibly having uh, uh, friends create themes for that. Yes? What are the services that are supported besides Twitter? So, so that's a good question. That was actually my last slide. Um, right now, it's only Twitter, multiple accounts. And this is, again, a preview. And so we will, uh, but it's all designed to support multiple services and, uh, from the code that we created. And um, uh, so some people are starting to get the client. So um, the, uh, the next one we will add, the two next ones we'll add are uh, obviously video comments, <laughs> which we have in Twill, which had for a while. But we think, we think it will be a great experience to have them into one again, like not having to do to suppress places. So add a URL, share an image, and you will have add a video here. And, uh, but the approach we're taking is not to be exclusive, as you can see. Uh, actually, on the share an image, there is a drop down already. So that's the first one. And then the, uh, uh, the other one is, um, the other one is uh, Facebook, a small one, <laughs> uh, which we are obviously working on right now, as we already have a Sysmic for Facebook application, which was very limited. But we also we want it very well integrated. Like, you know, like right there and in the same column. So not, you know, like just like stick it right there. We want, we want better. So people are talking about the memory. Memory is a big issue. We're, uh, we're uh, really cautious about it. Very, uh, yes. Wow. So just to clarify, this is still running Adobe on Adobe Air? Yes, it's Mac. Uh, so the question is, we should take one from Ustream. Are they here? Yeah. Uh, let's take one from, from Ustream after. And um, so the question was, is it still running on Adobe Air? Yes, we're very happy about it. It's a Mac PC and more. And, uh, and uh, we're working closely with the Adobe Air team. So we're happy about the, the platform. So you need Adobe Air if you don't have it. Is this going to replace Twirl? Is this going from? Is this going to replace Twill? So that's uh, also something I had. So good, it's coming from questions. Uh, but we, in terms of branding, we had a, a few remarks from Twill. We love Twill. We love the client. We love Marco. We love all the users. But 
uh, nobody can pronounce it. <laughs> uh, very tough to pronounce, uh, very tough to spell. People don't know where is the H, right, or the W. And, and really, like, it's like, actually, if you go on Twitter search for it, you'll see people are like, where is it? How is it? Is, how is it spelled? So also, we, we don't have the uh, .com domain name. We have .org. So it's like a lot of reasons. And, and, and frankly, as a 15-people uh, company, which we are doing a few different things right now, because there is more coming, obviously, uh, one brand is already something big, too. So, so we're, we're going to leave Twill. Uh, as is, especially as this Sysmic desktop doesn't still do all the multiple services support that Twill does, but it does much more on Twitter. Um, and, uh, and we're going to invest on Sysmic desktop. So we are going to invest on, on, on this client. But we will, uh, Twill will still be available. There, are, there is a, uh, an interesting community of people who use it just for friend feed, others just for uh, tweet, um, for uh, Identica, I'm sorry. So yeah. Yes? Is the, the desktop um, indicating that uh, we can't expect that on mobile platforms? Or is it, uh, is it also in your hands? We're working on mobile platforms. <laughs> nothing to announce. Uh, <laughs> nothing to announce yet. Is Frida here? No? Kathleen, is Frida here? No? All right. So, well, I was our, our special guest. I don't know where is Frida. Sorry. So, yes, um, uh, we're working on mobile. <laughs> Any other question from Ustream? Yes, go ahead. I was just going to say, now, the... Did you send it? It's, it's going? Cool. The preview version is just uh, Twitter right now? No seismic or seismic? Um, it's just Twitter right now. Okay. Just Twitter, but we think a very exciting uh, support of Twitter. But yeah, obviously, we want, we want to add video to that. Uh, and we have done it on Twill. It's just, you know, like... It's always this question which we can open as a debate if you want is, uh, I don't want to be just like telling things, but it's like, uh, when do you launch a product? You know, we could have waited another month or two before launching this and uh, uh, have it like service complete and, and, and more services, more features. And um, we decided with the team that we should, we should uh, push it now. And, uh, and we're very excited about what it does with Twitter already. Uh, and, uh, and hopefully the uh, members of Team Sismic, uh, so we started that a few months ago and we're 7,000, um, are, I think, happy to help us. And so that's the way we do it. We do it in an open way. So actually you can go to feedback.sysmic.com right now. We create a new blank, new feedback form just for Sismic Desktop. And uh, if you email us, we will answer every single email uh, and listen to, to all your feedback and, and just build what's more popular most popular. We can also get into a debate whether users should, uh, well, companies should listen only to their users or not, but I'm not sure I want to do that right now. <laughs> but we're listening a lot to the users and to our partners. Um, yeah, via Sysmic Desktop, here we go. <laughs> so it's starting to, uh, to uh, oh, via Sysmic Desktop, I love that. So these are the very first tweets uh, that have, are being sent via Sysmic Desktop. <laughs> Other question? Yes? Uh, can we just resize the column? Uh, uh, no, you mean the columns themselves? Yeah. No, not, 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 not yet. Marco, can we? I don't think so. <laughs> no, you, you, you have them uh, the way they are right now. It's a good point. Uh, yes? Is there a limit on the uh, number of columns that you can have? Is there a limit on the number of columns that you can have? I, 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 well, that's a good one. I think. Uh, can you get Marco in the chat room? I, I don't think so, but uh, yeah, actually there is. There was, on, uh, there was a, limited, a limitation on Twitter already. Uh, that's fine, I don't know. Let me, uh, let me be uh, straight, but you can try it. Let, let me, t tell me how, how many you can add. That's a good one. Like the first one who tells us the limit tells me because the, t the tech team knows this answer to this question. Just so that I can apologize for um, not being able to answer this one. Uh, just to tell you, we got the last bill that you were sending right now two hours ago. No limit. Here we go. Thank you. So it went to Germany and came back. We have uh, no limit on the number of columns. Wow. So here's a challenge. <laughs> Show us how many columns you can stick in it, but get, get some memory maybe to your computer. <laughs> um, yeah. Other question? Maybe we should uh, um, give, us, give us some. Uh, is there one on, on your stream? Yeah, they want to know how you feel about TweetDeck and they want to Yeah, so my, my um, 
so the question is how I feel about TweetDeck. And uh, uh, you can, f if you go to logic.tv, you'll find my, um, a few of my videos. I have like two or 3,000 on Seismic and a, a few, 100, 800 on YouTube. And you'll find the one I did last week where I posted uh, how I deal with competition for 15 years, I mean business. And my uh, policy is never to uh, uh, criticize them, comment, uh, and respect them. And I think it's a very small space that we're growing together and they're very successful, it's a very good client, and we're very happy to uh, uh, be in the same space. Uh, I created the uh, internet chapter of the, uh, the French chapter of the Internet Bureau in 96 in France, and we gathered all the competition, all the agencies together, and we grew the market by doing that, and uh, teaching the brands what it was, the first banners, and so on. So, yeah, I would actually uh, love to work with the, uh, the other clients, and we do, we talk with some of them. Um, I guess that's any other question? Thank we you we Thank you so much for yeah, give us some feedback maybe before we break and have a drink together. What, what do you think? Uh, can you introduce yourself? Very cool. Oh, I'm Adolfo. <laughs> you like it, Adolfo? I love it. Yeah, it looks, it looks good. Excellent. Any, any, other, any other comment? How do you like it? How do you like it? Yeah? yeah the, the the way that the way the team is matrixed, the columns and the sidebar, I think, is just brilliant. And and the and the buttons at the bottom of each column, and I mean, it's just that really makes it so flexible for people that are using it. Different it's really great. Thank you. Um, uh, what would be the features that you would like, like just a quick, like that we don't have yet? Other services. Other services. That's coming. <laughs> On search geographic, can we go geographic? Yeah, uh, yeah. We should we should actually support everything Twitter does on search. You can, you can already. Yeah, we yeah. Well, you need the options for yeah. Twitter. You can, you can put them into the uh, when you start when you do the search. You can add like specific terms. Um, like you just it's just Twitter just search like right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. 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 But we will. I I would want them like here with a more option with an option button. Yes. Sorry, just to write, did you talk about the business model? Are you expecting money? Business model. <laughs> Who, uh, can you introduce yourself? My name is Matthew, and I am uh, media manager for French and part of company. Good. Thank you for asking the question. <laughs> no, uh, obviously there will be. Um, we don't want to. Uh, we we really don't want to annoy the users with uh, like stuff you know popping at your face, and uh, uh, we so we'll be extremely careful. But we think there is a. Uh, very, very good, uh, very interesting opportunity for a pro version, <coughs> which we're working on. Yeah, not, not, you know, like we have, we have, we have some time. Uh, we got lucky enough to, uh, to have a, to have a, a great team, and uh, uh, like I didn't put any corporate stuff, but uh, we got funded by the founders of Skype, Atomico, were funded by Pierre, who is fund the Media Network, and. Uh, um, by Wellington and by Jeff Clavier, who's here in the room, Softec. Uh, so great people who uh, help us, and uh, we have a lot of runway. But yes, we will monetize. It's just a little early. Any other comment, or we should just uh, break a network, maybe from Ustream? Yeah, that's very active uh, in there. What features will be the pro client? That's a bit early to discuss those, <laughs> but I'll be happy to get your. Uh, I'll be happy to get your uh, your ideas. Yes. Oh, in regards to features, um, I think. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. I'll I'll take your. <laughs> no, I just saw my own tweet go by. Oh, your tweet. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, I I think it's uh, something that uh, TweetDeck uh, added, where there's there's a feature that will kind of constrict your tweet, kind of shorten the language to fit within the 140 characters. Do you have anything like that? Uh, plan. Shrink the tweet, yeah. like if you're too. Uh, I guess it does abbreviation. If you speak too long, like the French guys uh, generally do, you want to auto shrink what's being said. Well, it tells you here, right there, right. If you go above, it's color coded, it goes in red. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not. Uh, we're not planning to, to 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 do that yet. But I'm happy to. Uh, Talk about it to you. Uh, talk to you about it offline. Let's take one more. Yeah, Ping FM is a good one from Ustream. Uh, we have uh, uh, 
Uh, we have full support for Ping FM in Twill. We love Ping FM, Sean, if you watch this. And uh, we will add it as soon as possible on Seismic Desktops. If you don't know Ping FM, it posts to like 50, like they add services at uh, the speed of light. And uh, it, you, can, you can post everything uh, to like 50 social softwares if you want to like do that. And so it's already on Twill and we will build it in uh, Seismic Desktop. Obviously, it's a feature that people really like. Um, TweetPick is in there, use Streamer 73007. And uh, yeah, um, I think we should start networking probably and have a drink and, uh, and break. Um, so thank you very much on Ustream Live. And uh, I know we have also video comments. I will, I will take them myself later and answer every single of them. Uh, and I'm really happy you made it. We will repeat those, not only to talk about the product, but also to do like, we have this room which is gorgeous. Uh, if you don't see it on Ustream, we'll show you around, but it's a 270 degrees, almost like 360 degrees of view around San Francisco, and we cannot use it every day, but we can use it very uh, often. So we, we are planning to do like one of those, no promises, but like very often, and uh, talk about community and uh, help build your community. So we hope you keep giving us feedback and uh, let's have some drinks and pizza, and thank you very much for uh, showing, uh, for joining us. Thank you.